Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to show you how to use the crop function in BioRender. Now for this particular example, um, say you want to take maybe the top of this left protein, the orange one, and combine it with the bottom half of this more teal colored protein. How would we do that? Um, well in some cases we do have color options that have those combinations, but in the case that we don't, you can actually crop one and attach it to the other. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to select the icon that I want to crop. So I've selected this orange one. I'm going to navigate up to the toolbar and select Crop. So what I can do now is sort of toggle the uh, controls here. I can use the corners. I can adjust. Um, and it's a little tricky. I can't quite get to the maybe middle of this um, kind of skinny part of the protein here because this other uh, blobby shape is getting in the way. So what I can actually do is uh, rotate this crop shape and then get a little closer to where I want it to crop. So that looks good. I'm going to click apply crop and I could do the same for this half but actually I'm just going to overlay this on top and it's actually behind so I'm going to bring it in to the front and simply overlay it like so. There we go. Now I can zoom in to make sure that that's even. There we go. Perfectly aligned. And there you have it. Now to maintain this as one piece, I'd probably select both, right click and group it. And so now I've got a new customized icon that I've made. Now what you can also use the crop function for is of course left and right comparisons. Sometimes it's of uh, normal anatomy versus pathology. And so what you can do is of course take one half of the object and do the same opposite side for the other half. And then simply combine both. What we also like to do is usually add a dotted line to show sort of a time difference or a before and after perhaps to make that line a little bit thicker. Great. And you can adjust as needed and there you have it. So that's the crop function. Hopefully you can give that a try and let us know your thoughts.